This is how I do the Epsom salt soaks. I try to find a jar or glass that is kind of tall and a little bit narrower so, so you can kind of get their body in it but not a ton of room for them to flop around or accidentally dunk their little faces or heads. And I do the water nice and warm. So actually this is very relaxed for her. If the water's not warm enough, <clears throat> oh my goodness, the screaming and howling. So it's nice and warm. I've got a glass jar, I mean a, a glass that doesn't give her a lot of room to thrash and splash. And she can stand her feet up in the bottom. So I think that makes her feel a little more secure. And I try to soak them for five to 10 minutes. Right now, the infection has completely quit spreading and all of the uh, lesions are starting to minimize and scab up and get better. So I'm only doing once a day and I'm thinking pretty soon I'll be able to go down to every other day.